you can enjoy curling with your friends and family anywhere, anytime. Let's play curling. I've been raised on the farm since day one, so I was born into it. My grandfather came in here in 1905. I want to continue the farm for him and generations to come. So. I think it's a privilege that we get to be here. It's just a wonderful way of life. You know, what job is there that you can go to work with your dad and brother, with your kids by your side? Doesn't get much better than that. Wait, 
Testing, testing. Hello, Kui fans. Hello, Laycock fans. Hello, everyone. You didn't think you were going to be alone for another Team Kui game, or did you? Team Kui, interesting path. A win against Jordan Peters, loss against Jacques Gauthier last night. He's able to beat Aaron Slushinsky today at 2 p.m., and here we are, the B final against Steve Laycock's team. Laycock's path here. A win against Braden Calvert to open things up. A fun game against Nicholas Adine that they ended up losing yesterday at 4.30. Laycock defeated Bernath, fellow Saskatchewan team, earlier today, 10 a.m. And that leads them here to this B qualifier.
Either way. Either way.
Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, pawn spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. Saskatchewan, you know Sastel because we are everywhere. Because being everywhere keeps us connected to you. With Sastel sponsorships, we get to be part of your community. We're here with you and we're here for you. It's easy to get started. All you need to do is apply. Sastel cares, always has, always will. To apply for sponsorship, visit sastel.com slash sponsorships. You can enjoy curling with your friends and family anywhere, anytime. Let's play curling. Pretty incredible. Well, I was almost upset with Team Fui.
Well, I understand that uh, you guys can only hear me every now and then throughout that end. I haven't, uh, I haven't done commentary in this room with the feedback, the game sort of uh, sound coming back before. It's causing some pretty bad feedback, so I just muted it. But you did not need my commentary to enjoy that uh, clinic in angles and, you know, <laughs> the physics of curling. As I said the last night, I was almost upset with Team Cooley taking that long <laughs> to discuss a shot in the first end, but it appeared to be worth it. First off, Kevin Cooley makes <clears throat> five rocks move. Really incredible uh, the way that those, those rocks kind of exploded off each other, sent that Cooley stone back to remove the rock in the forefoot, the Laycock rock in the forefoot. Eliminated all Laycock stones from the rings. Steve Laycock makes a pretty good tap freeze, but I don't think there's any way to escape that angle. That's Kevin Cooley threw in his last one, the in-off angle. Even if Team Laycock made that freeze perfectly, there still would have been some action on that inside-out motion to remove that stone. Once Kevin Cooley made that first that first kind of angle run back, double, whatever you want to call it. That was uh, that was the opportunity to completely escape trouble was gone for Team Laycock. They get, I guess they could have made it a little bit harder, um, freezing that rock perfectly, perhaps getting just a couple inches more curl, but end of the day, Kevin Cooley lined that one up perfectly, threw it perfectly, and hey, here we have it, 5 nothing. Quite a bit of rocks in play here for Team Laycock. The worst thing you would want to see if you were Steve is just nothing, nothing around, nothing in the rings, nothing up front. Team Cooley perhaps showing a little respect. <laughs> maybe not playing exactly like they are up five. You'd think you would have saw maybe like a corner guard, uh, some play on the corner guard or something, but this might just be how Team Cooley plays when they're up three or more. Either way, Steve Laycock will have some rocks to play with, some, some tools to use in order to stage a comeback here. Of course, with seven ends left, game is far from over. I suppose you could say uh, Team Laycock could score every end from here on out and still win by two. But in curling, once you're up about three points or more, the strategy tends to change the way you manage. Um, the possibilities, the dangers of the other team starts to change. Especially a team of Cooey's caliber. It's going to be need not only a few misses, but a few bad decisions in order to let Steve Laycock back into this game. However, I, at the Briar, I did see uh, Brad Thiessen and Carrick Martin's old team, Brandon Botcher, come back from a five-point de deficit. I think they were down five after three ends. And they came back and won that game. Actually, handily, by the eighth end, they had full advantage.
Third Tyler, Tyler Tardy doing his job. Operation Get Rid of Redstones, fully in action. There we go. Third, Sean Meacham. In contrast, Team Laycock, Operation Make Our Rocks Hard to Hit. Trying to use that corner guard. Not exactly sure what they thought they were going to get there. Maybe maybe they thought they'd kick the red one over a bit. That's That seemed to be the spot that that rock was always going to stop. Looks like Kui's going to have a, a w pretty easy way to get two red rocks moving. Will it jam on the back one? Perhaps. I don't think they're too concerned about that right now. Just make one go away. Be able to unlock this freeze with this kind of shot as well. Three rocks, three bombs for Kevin Kui. That's just the way they like it. Precision as per usual. Could be the best in the world right there. Freeze number one of two for Steve Laycock. Just try to get their rock in a spot that's going to be more difficult to remove. I don't think there is any kind of magic spot here where it's going to be impossible to.
Chance number two for Steam Laycock. A sad single point, it seems. Four to one lead, Cooey over Laycock, third end when we return. Hey, wake up. There's so much out there to see. Look up, look down. Quick, look over there. Look for a little trouble, but not too much. Open your eyes to something new every day. The hustle, the bustle, the calm, the serene. Maybe then you'll see that sometimes you have to go far to get a little closer. So wake up. The day is far from over. Seize the days. Welcome back to Swift Current, IG Wealth Manager Western Showdown. Big first end for Kevin Cooley. Let's put his team on top five to one. Team Laycock did their best with actually a pretty messy end. Quite a few rocks in play, I should say. Team Cooley kind of Playing ball, I guess, is what I would call it. Allowed themselves to keep some rocks in play. Whoa, wrong camera. Let's follow this slide here. Sweepers, Sean Meacham and Chris Heikert trying to keep their cool. These guys work hard. Um, no one likes to give up a five-ender. You start to think to yourself, oh, man, is this game over already? But all you can do is just keep working. Like I mentioned, uh, two players on the ice here, Brad Thiessen and Carrick Martin. I watched them at the Briar in, in Brandon, 2019, I think that was. I may have said 2018 earlier. But 2019, I think that Briar and Brandon was where uh, these guys were down, I think it was eight to three. I want to say it was New Brunswick's James Gratton. That could be wrong. Maybe someone might look it up. But anyways, they came back and won that game. Stormed back, in fact. Never lost an end. That was the team Brendan Botcher, of course, in 2019. So I've seen it happen, though admittedly very unlikely. And, you know, all respect to Team Gratton, they've made... They've, you know, done very well. I won't patronize them. They are not Kevin Cooey. I don't think we're going to see a 5 nothing comeback against Kevin Cooey today. Now, that's, that's not a very brave thing to say, but 
We're going to watch Steve, La Steve Laycock do their best. Come back here. Down four without hammer. Starts with the Steeler force here. Five ends left to play. My name's Rory McCosker. I work for Curling Stadium. I help oversee the live uh, events that we bring to you guys. I've done some competitive curling myself. I remember one game in Wadena. We were, it was a Friday night. We were late coming from Regina. Rushed to the rink, rushed to get all our stuff on. Walked out on the ice and waiting for us was uh, Glenn Muirhead. This would have been in 2019, fall of 2019. And they smoked us in the first end. We were the televised game. And I can tell you, it felt bad. Even though you knew you were nowhere close to that team's skill level or, uh, you know, commitment or, you know, schedule, all that stuff. Nobody likes giving up five points in the first end. We may have even given up six. I, I blacked it out. It was some insanely high number. I think we played three ends for the cameras and then... <laughs> Shook and walked off the ice, a very de dejected crew. Team Laycock doing much better than than that memory. It's just this Cooey team, once they get in a position where they can start hitting, it is very difficult to put a, a stop on it, like, all through this this lineup. You don't see Carrick Martin throwing too many hits, as, as with any lead, but, geez, the rest of these guys can chuck bombs. Bomb number one coming this end. We're likely to see at least four more. Mm -hmm. Trying to get two off or just satisfied with the single peel? I think they're just trying to take one guard off. No need to get crazy. Many times I've seen skips go for a double peel or try to send, send a guard. Hey, why not? Why not try to get a bonus rock here? Always some unpredictable things that can happen. You can stick the peel by playing it too thick. You can send that rock back and, and jam it into an even worse position. Up five points with hammer. Doesn't really matter what color those rocks are. They're all your enemy. And uh, as long as you don't yourself contribute to adding more to the pile, things are probably going to work out just fine. So knowing this, Team Laycock trying to set up angle, set up a jam situation. May have been trying to freeze on that red one or at least load the angles up a certain direction to kind of guarantee the path of those rocks. And granted, they've gotten close enough to the stone that they are going to do that, as Kevin Cooley just showed his team, about a foot, maybe not even. They have guaranteed which way that stone is going to fly, but unfortunately, that direction is directly out of the rings without jamming on anything. Still, Team Cooey, this is a competitive, you know, tournament game. This is what they waited all day to do. Doesn't matter to them that they're up 5-1. to one. They're going to keep throwing that rock as good as they possibly can. So, managing the angles perfectly. Once again. Party 2 Cooey combo. A lot of curling fans in Canada and across the world are very excited to see how this Combination turns out. Have arguably the best player in the world. Invite you to join his team. Along with new front end, Carrick Martin and Brad Thiessen, very accomplished themselves. Quite an honor for Mr. Tardy. And speaks a lot to what these high-level curlers think of him. We will watch that partnership unfold all year long. Guess we'll discover what that partnership really means. A lot of eyes on that back end of Team Kui. Real nice freeze there. Sean Meacham. 
putting that rock right where it needs to be. As you can see from that straight on angle, slightly to the right. That way when Kui hits it, it might cascade into that other yellow stone, hopefully keeping it in the rings. But unfortunately for Team Laycock, once they've cashed that angle in, there will be nothing else really to, to freeze against in the rings. One lonely corner guard over in the far side of the 12 foot. Well, if nothing else, this game so far has been a great lesson in, in angles and rock physics, the way these rocks collide, spin, and bounce off each other. I need some soft weight here. Just wanted to unlock this stone. Again, Team Cooey, not getting too distracted by the lead, still playing the shot that they believe is going to create the best result for them at that end. Skip Kevin Cooey, not even taking his left hand out of his pocket there as he reaches down to grab his broom. He looks a little chilly. Kevin's known for bundling up. The Swift Current rink, definitely a colder rink than most. No more or less than it would normally be or really any other club would, would normally be. Sometimes you get spoiled with a really just nice, warm, comfortable home club and then you travel to curl. I know I went to some some smaller rinks in my junior competitive days, and yeah, it would sometimes surprise you with the temperature difference. Skipping in general, as we know, is just a little bit colder than <laughs> the other positions. A little lonelier too at times. Sometimes you want to laugh and joke with your front end or kind of talk about some non-curling related stuff with your teammates as, as the other teams get themselves ready. Skipping seems to be a little more solitary. Nice draw around the stagger here. That's looking like two in a row. Team Laycock making some really nice shots to give themselves a chance here to score or force in this third end. Line two in the forefoot, no double available. They're looking pretty good as far as accomplishing that goal. I think we might see another lesson in angles here. Waving his broom manically, describing how everything's going to fly. I'm sure it's absolutely correct. They've been 100% so far. Right, you're watching a genius at work here, people. Staying in their zone. Very good. Like uh, Keeping their, their standard of performance. And we'll need to. Team Laycock's got a pretty good setup here. Let's take two good shots from Gooey to have an opportunity to score two or maybe even one. Maybe this first thing will happen. A little, a little bit surprising. Maybe they thought that they would catch a bit of that back red and, and unlock that, but still no put up the forefoot for now. 
in Lake Hawk will discuss what they think the perfect spot will be. Place this stone. Just decide whether straight on or on the other side of the forefoot. Uh, do we want to see him draw the button? Do you want to kind of tempt him into hitting? These are the decisions here. Looks like they may have settled on the left side of the center line. Let's get seen like cock. Goes through his process, cleans his rocks, stands up, stares down the target, takes a big breath, lets it out. You kind of get to know these guys as uh, hack routines as you zoom cameras in from 300 feet over and over again all weekend long. Just the little things that you notice. Really working on this the whole way. It's you can tell it's light. That's still gonna help. It sort of takes away you know one of the hitting options that we even have. I mean, it sort of means he can't miss four inches inside. Not like Kevin Kelly would be doing that very often. Last shot in the third end. Hit number six of the game for Kevin Cooey. They may put this thing away. The score three. Last rock, third end. Gonna get the safe way. Score the outside too. Will we have a fourth end when we come back? Yes, we will. Team Laycock will have hammer in the fourth. SASTEL Be Kind Online wants to stop cyberbullying. Want in on the action? We award up to $1,000 for youth initiatives that help spread kindness and prevent bullying. What great idea do you have to help stop bullying? SASTEL can help. Go to BeKindOnline.com and apply for a grant today. Together, we can make a difference. on the farm since day one, so you know, I was born into it. My grandfather came in here in 1905. I want to continue the farm for him and generations to come. So. I think it's a privilege that we get to be here. It's just a wonderful way of life. You know, what job is there that you can go to work with your dad and brother, with your kids by your side? Doesn't get much better than that. And number four. Here in Swift Current, 
a three draw day. A lot of teams getting rest for this this game. Oh, dead again. Got to switch my camera. There's a lot going on over here, people. Let's see if we can follow this rock down. Team Laycock with some work to do. Made some pretty nice shots in the third end there. Especially uh, third shot mean Jim Steve, Steve Laycock. Laycock coming up light on his last stone. May have done the trick, forcing Team Cooey to a, a tough shot for one. Perhaps even stealing a point, but does come up significantly light on his draw. Left the angle open to remove a red stone. They could have played it a little tighter. Tried to stick around for three, but Team Kevin Cooey thinking two points to go up six is enough. Now I spent some time in the third end talking about how I have seen a five-point comeback before. I have never seen a six-point comeback. So take that for what it's worth. Never seen a, a six-point comeback at, at this level of competition. I have definitely let senior women's teams in the Caledonian Curling Club in Regina come back on me way more than six points. And I've staged some some six-point plusers myself, I think many of us club curlers have, but these guys are just too skilled, too consistent, well-practiced, well-experienced. It just, it just isn't going to happen. Well, we'll watch them duke it out. Swift Current Curling Club Club Manager Chris Heiker. Been very hospitable to me and my coworkers. As Swift Current has hosted quite a few over the last two seasons. Really high-profile tournaments streamed live on Curling Stadium. It's been an excellent partner to maximize this technology with. Really appreciate Chris and everything he's done for me and, and our crew here. Let's see if you can make a tap back. Sweeper's really working on this. And it touches the yellow rock. Congrats, Chris. You made it. Creates a nice little pocket back there. Might still be a way to get rid of that red rock. Team Kui doesn't necessarily need to do that right now. <laughs> yeah, Sean Beecham trying to spread some cheer. But that... Uh, that expression says it all, the, the old <laughs> Still fighting out there. Love to see it, Team Leacock, Laycock. Ah, these guys have won enough games this season. They can afford losing one here. Loser of this game drops to the C event. Loser to 33, who will they play? Not so bad. Loser goes straight into a C qualifier. That'll be played at 2 p.m. tomorrow, so we'll have lots of time to lick their wounds, get ready for the next one. That's my speaker. My speaker, Jason, is uh, criticizing that community. You really counting them out? Bold, bold, bold prediction. Yes, I am. <clears throat> Hardworking guys, those ice, ice staff. <clears throat> kind of an all star Saskatchewan lineup. Take care of the ice here this weekend. I had ice maker Jason. Mitch Meekin joins the crew and uh, 
Darren, I forget his last name, ice maker at the Highland of Regina. Yeah, that's pretty good. All we're missing is Mr. Jedi Ice himself, James Gordon. That would be a real all star, sassy lineup. <clears throat> One, two, oh, that would have been fun. That's still a victory for Team Cooey, getting rid of those rocks in the back of the forefoot. Pretty nice shot there to get rid of the guard and a rock in the rings. We'll leave a few stone up as a corner guard. Team Lake Hawk will try to hide behind really anything, anything that they can use. Freeze against tap, create an angle, draw around. They're going to try to make use of. Team Lake Hawk actually playing fairly well. Sometimes you get cooed in the first end, and uh, that kind of writes the story there. They've joined a long list of teams that have thought they were safe, <laughs> thought they had some things under control, and then Cabot shows up, makes things go bang, and then you're not so sure of yourself. All-time famous quote by Darren Molding. What's he gonna do to us this time? <laughs> As Botcher plays Kevin Cooey, and yeah, it was either the final of the semifinal of the Briar for one of these last few years. And on that provincial finals, that, that many, many times that Botch, that iteration of the Botcher team and that version of the Cooey team, both teams are considerably changed since then. Uh, team Cooey, you know, featuring two players of that former Botcher team, but. Just those rivalries and, and how legendary Kevin Cooey is at, at pulling rabbits out of his hat. So I remember I was covering World World Championships in Lethbridge, I think it was 2018. And against John Schuster. Schuster was playing uh, one of the games of his life against Kevin Cooey in the round robin. About world championships, and they had a perfect steel end set up. There was, it's, it seemed like there was no option for Kevin, Team Cooey. Cooey was going to give up a point no matter what. Button totally sealed off, an ungettable rock in the top of the four foot, and then this orbiting rock in the side of the 12 foot. Then third BJ Newfeld and Skip Kevin Cooey take a look at it and think that Kevin could throw it hard enough. To roll totally flat all the way to the button. The call was, I think, to get one point. And Kevin Cooley hit that rock so hard and got so much action rolling. Not only did he make that flat roll, he bumped the shooter stone off the button, and I think Cooley got two. It's one of the most incredible shots I've ever seen. The Lethbridge crowd went wild. And just over and over again, Kevin Cooley reminds us that uh, no one can do it like him. Kevin has shed the overcoat. He, uh, he is letting his left hand out of his pocket, warming up a little bit. They've already seen this, this path. They made one run back down here just at this very end, so should know what to expect here. Some good work by Team Laycock. Getting those stones buried the way they did, forced to run back. Steve respecting his opponent here, just understanding there's going to be a double for sure on those stones. Kind of a kind of a, a, a 
an angle where that the shooter rock, the potential Kui shooter rock, is going to come cascading through the ring. So they're just deciding where they want to put their stone. So there's not going to be a triple. No two will likely be removed. Two points will fix the damage of the third end. It'll make it a five point game again. Still a tall order, but definitely not out of the question. All they can focus on is making one shot at a time. So here's an out turn. Draw or guard? Guess we'll find out. That's a nice spot. Pretty high up in the guard zone. Makes the run back quite difficult. That's some really good work by Team Lakehawk. Manufacturing a multi-point score this end. And lots of information to sweepers there, you can see. Talking to Carrick Martin, I think that is, on the right side. Yeah. Not an ideal situation. Appear to be some kind of run back triple, but Tyler Tardy and Kevin Cooley see once again this is the most beneficial spot for the rock to be, so they're just they're going for that, keeping their high performance focus, respecting themselves and their ability to make the shot. Kevin Cooley's first draw of the game. Starting to go already. They're going to try to find a corner freeze. We'll watch from above. Well, for the second one now. I just didn't quite get the movement that they wanted. I think sweepers, Brad Thiessen and Carrick Martin, were hoping to sweep on that, to go on that later in its path. They just couldn't based on the way it was curling and its its weight. More so its weight, I should say. To, to make it curl more, than I think they would have liked to have some, some speed to work with. I guess another option, they could have brought that deep into the eight foot so there was no double available for Steve Lightbox. This is still going to be a very difficult double, especially with what it appears to be forcing uh, Steve to throw the outturn at it. That's going to kind of sharpen the roll and an outturn hit on that stone will send the shooter rock kind of spinning with curlers would say lower at a uh, at a lower angle.
see if we can make this. Just a little too thick, it'll be one point for Steve Laycock. And the debate, shaking. Yes, one second. And it is the final. 7 2 for Team Cooley over Laycock. Really good fight by Team Laycock there. It really made a lot of shots to keep that game rolling. Did what they could, forced Cooley to make the doubles and the, the, removing the settles that they needed to. But it will be a 7 2 final. Team Cooley, they will qualify in the B qualifier spot. Q5 which will play Q4, also competing tonight, 7 p.m. Team Laycock will drop to the C. That'll be 2 p.m. Saturday. So you can catch that game. Hey, okay. still hungry for curling tonight? Well, we need two other games on the ice. Curling Stadium, uh, Curling Zone YouTube page. Select your, select your game and, and keep on watching. All right, thanks, everybody. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium.